Welcome, Amy Barney here. All right, I know the new year is so fast approaching and every year most of us try to come up with some kind of resolution, new goals, it's a fresh new start. And um, something I learned from my coach Deb Erickson is there's one important thing you wanna do before you start crafting your goals, before you um, get ready to start making those changes. And this can change everything for you. And I don't know if you've ever had uh, you know, this year's a great example <laughs> where it just so many things don't go the way you plan them to do. And so sometimes for me, at least this has happened to me when I'm looking back on a previous year and I, you know, maybe, you know, you finish it off by not, you know, reaching that goal, that big goal that you wanted. And so maybe it leaves a bad taste in your mouth or, you know, a lot of things don't work well for you. And so, you know, you try to look back on the year and you want to craft goals to have a better, you know, year next year and have, uh, you know, more positive experiences. But when you look back, all you feel is the negative energy. So this has happened in the beginning of my business when I was working through it. There was time when I felt like, hey, Maria, hey, Renee, there was a time when I felt like I didn't have a lot of wins. And, and so doing New Year's goals sometimes felt like, you know, what's the point? <laughs> you know, so here's the one big thing. If you do this, it's going to help you get into the right energy. And, you know, I felt amazing. I went through and you want to seek out every win that you had over this last year and first go through and write it out. And as I did this, um, and this is from my coach Deb Erickson, and we were working on this at the beginning of December. And I've been kind of working on and off up th on it before the coming new year. And when you review your year and you celebrate your wins and you write them down and you acknowledge it, it brings an energy to the process. Plus, you start to realize you've accomplished far more than you thought. So here are some questions that you can use if you'd like um, that maybe will help you. So what did you finish this year? You know, what, what is it? Like maybe you finished a class, maybe you finished a book, maybe you finished, you know, look for the wins, whatever they may be, put them all down. What, where are all the places you or your people, if you have like a company or a business, had wins? And so as you can see, I've been, I filled this out front and back. And, uh, you know, it was just also empowering as I was going through remembering and writing down my wins to see all the amazing things that happened this year in spite of everything else that happened. Uh, what insights have you gained? Number four, what negative habits or patterns did you break? Number five, what positive changes have you created? Number six, how have you moved closer to your ultimate goal? Number seven, what momentum did you create? Number eight, what new leverage have you created? And number nine, how has your commitment or resolve changed? And 10, how have you become more of the man or woman you must become to achieve your ultimate goals? So I've been doing this every year now for, I guess maybe three years, three, three, four years. And, you know, like I said, it was a struggle in the beginning to find the wins, but I'm getting better at it. And also, I am a big believer, uh, my other coach, Ray Higdon, when you celebrate your wins, you find more of them. And so this is a really good way to start off the new year by finding all the wins you had this year, writing them down, celebrating them, and it just makes you feel really good, and then go about and start crafting your goals. So tomorrow night, I'm going to share the next thing that I do that helps me in this process so that I can not only set my goals, but achieve them. So join me tomorrow night and I will share one of the most incredible tools that I love to use anytime I'm approaching a, a new goal. So like I just made one for the next quarter. Um, you know, when I was going for my incentive trip, I made it for that. Um, you know, so it's super helpful and I'll be sharing about that tomorrow. By the way, if you would like these questions, I'd be happy to send them to you. If you would like to go over your wins this year and celebrate them and feel good and let go of let go of the bad stuff, focus on your wins and then go about crafting the change that you want for next year. So I hope that's helpful. I know it's been really helpful for me. It's a different perspective because as women, we often like to beat up on ourselves. We put, you know, like, I don't know, I'm really hard on myself. <laughs> I, um... Even after that huge month I had in November, I was like having a hard time just taking a few days off. And I was feeling like I was a failure because I had to take a few days break. Yet I like had the most amazing month in November 
and really worked hard and so of course it was deserving of a break but I think we just are sometimes so hard on ourselves so find those wins celebrate them and create the goals for the next year and see how much better you feel when you see how far you've come over the year even with everything else that's been going on so I hope that's helpful by the way again if you would like a list of those questions just comment below or shoot me a message and I'd be happy to send that to you have a great night